Okay, we are now live on YouTube. Good morning, everyone. I am Judge Ferry, and I will be presiding over your first appearance today. Buenos días a todos. Soy la Ferry. Yo estaré presidiendo ante la audiencia del día de hoy. And Madam Interpreter, do you swear or affirm that you would translate from English to Spanish and from Spanish to English in accordance with your training and experience? I do. Okay, thank you. If everyone can please raise your right hand. Si todos pueden, por favor, levantar su mano derecha. Do you swear or affirm that the information contained in your application for court appointed counsel? As well as any information given to this court is true and correct. If so, say I do. Thank you. You may all lower your hands. Listen carefully this morning because I am going to explain a few things about how your first appearance hearing will take place today. This first appearance is before the Magistrate Court of Clayton County. We are not here to try your case or take a plea today. You are here for the court to inform you of the charges that have been brought against you. To advise you of certain rights. Para que se les informe acerca de ciertos derechos. To set bond on those offenses for which this court is authorized to set bond on. Para que se establezca una fianza ante esos cargos en los cuales la corte puede establecer una fianza. To schedule a preliminary hearing if necessary. Para que se establezca una audiencia preliminar en caso de que sea necesario. And to determine whether you require the assistance of an attorney. Y para determinar si ustedes requieren la asistencia de un abogado. You have the right to remain silent and say nothing today. Tienen el derecho de permanecer en silencio y no decir nada el día de hoy. But should you give up this right, anything you say during this proceeding may be used against you if this case goes to trial. During this and all other proceedings, you have several rights that I will explain to you. Durante este y cualquier otro proceso tienen varios derechos que yo les voy a explicar cuáles son. You have the right to the presumption of innocence until the state proves your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Tienen el derecho de presumirse inocentes hasta que el Estado demuestre que son culpables más allá de la razón, de la duda razonable. You have the right to indictment by the grand jury for most felonies or by accusation for misdemeanors. You have the right to a speedy and public trial by jury. El derecho a un juicio rápido con jurado. 
You have the right to see, hear, and cross-examine witnesses who are called to testify against you. Tienen el derecho de ver, escuchar y de interrogar a los testigos que hayan en su contra. You have the right to compel the attendance of witnesses in your own behalf by subpoena. Y esto es en su propio bienestar, esto es citándolos. You have the right to testify and offer other evidence in your own defense should you choose to do so. Tienen el derecho de testificar en su propio beneficio, en su propia defensa, en caso de que decidan hacerlo. However, should you choose not to do so, no presumption of guilt may be raised. Sin embargo, si deciden no hacerlo, no se presumirá que son culpables. You have the right to have an attorney represent you. Tienen el derecho de tener a un abogado que los represente. And some of you will be allowed to post unrestricted bonds for your release from jail pending prosecution of your case. I am going to explain the three different types of bonds that you can post today. This bond may be a cat. I'm sorry, Madam Interpreter. I do. I do apologize, Your Honor. I am going to explain three different types of bonds that you can post today. This bond may be a cash bond, commercial bond, or property bond. Les voy a explicar los tres tipos de fianzas que pueden eh, presentar el día de hoy. Puede ser una fianza en efectivo, una fianza comercial, o una fianza en propiedad. If you decide to post a cash bond, you will pay the full amount of your bond in cash to the sheriff's office plus any applicable mandated fees. Si deciden pagar una fianza en efectivo, le pagarán la cantidad total en efectivo al sheriff más cualquier cantidad o cuota que sea aplicable. The sheriff will hold it and after the final dispos disposition of your case, the cash bond will be returned to the person who posted it. El sheriff la retendrá y después de que se haya realizado la disposición final, el sheriff devolverá la fianza a la persona que la haya pagado. If you decide not to pay your bond in full with cash, you may post bond using a commercial bonding company that is approved by the sheriff's office. Si decide no pagar la fianza en efectivo, tiene la opción de seleccionar a una compañía que se, de, que se dedica a pagar fianzas y pagar la fianza a través de esa compañía. These are private companies who charge different fees to post the bond for you. Estas son compañías privadas que cobran cuotas diferentes para pagar la fianza por ustedes. Bonding companies usually charge you up to 15% of the total amount of your bond as their fee for their services. Las compañías de fianza son compañías que les cobran hasta el 15% del costo de la fianza para pagar la fianza por ustedes. Once you pay this fee to the bonding company, you do not get this money back. Una vez que ustedes le pagan esta cuota a la compañía de la fianza, ustedes no reciben este porcentaje de vuelta. If you decide to post a property bond, you will need to find someone who has property with net equity in their property for at least three times the total of the bond amount. Si deciden eh, pagar una fianza de propiedad o en propiedad, tendrían que encontrar a alguien que tenga una propiedad, que tenga el valor por lo menos de tres veces mayor del valor de la fianza. 
Some of you will have special conditions on your bond that prohibit you from contacting certain people or going to or around certain places. Algunos de ustedes tendrán condiciones especiales que no les permitirá acercarse a ciertos lugares o contactar a ciertas personas. This special condition will be provided to you on a separate form. Esta condición especial se les proporcionará a ustedes en una forma separada. Should you violate the court's order, your bond will be revoked and you would not be entitled to another bond while awaiting trial. Si ustedes violan la orden de la corte, su fianza será revocada y ya no tendrán derecho a otra fianza. An additional charge of aggravated stalking, influencing the witness, or other charge as the law may be may provide could be brought against you. For which you could be sentenced up to 10 years in prison and fined up to $20,000. For family members who will assist you in posting bond, they will be provided information of your bond amount after we have concluded this first appearance calendar. If a family member is a victim on the warrant and there is a special condition that you are to have no contact with that family member, he or she will not be allowed to post the bond for you. Some of you are charged with offenses for which this court is not authorized by law to set a bond for you. In this event, a bond hearing will be scheduled before a superior court judge and you will be informed of that court date. If you are currently on active probation, this court is not authorized to set a bond. We will give your probation officer an opportunity to decide if he or she will file a warrant to revoke your probation. This is typically done during your preliminary hearing. I am going to explain to you what a preliminary hearing is, so listen carefully. A preliminary hearing is a probable cause hearing. The purpose of a preliminary hearing is to determine whether there is enough evidence or probable cause to justify keeping you detained on your charges until such time that your case goes to trial. For those of you charged with misdemeanors only, 
you will have the option of letting me know whether you want to waive your preliminary hearing. Para aquellos de ustedes que solamente tengan cargos menores, tendrán la opción de informarme a mí si quieren renunciar a su audiencia preliminar. By waiving your preliminary hearing, it will not affect your right to post a bond. Al renunciar a su audiencia preliminar, no afecta su derecho a una fianza. By waiving your preliminary hearing, it will not affect your right to have an attorney appointed to represent you if you qualify for one. By waiving your preliminary hearing, it does not affect your right to have a jury trial. Now, if you are charged with misdemeanors only and you post bond, your preliminary hearing date is automatically waived. And you will be mailed a notice of when to appear for your next court date. For those of you with only misdemeanor charges, if you choose to have a hearing, your preliminary hearing will be scheduled for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. For those of you with felony charges, you will not have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing. And your preliminary hearing date will be scheduled for March 3rd at 8.30 a.m. Okay, deputies, um, I would like to handle Mr. Martinez first. And I do see that we have um, Mr. Walton being represented by counsel. So I would like to take him next and then we'll have the female inmates and then the male inmates. Can we do Spanish interpreters first? I'm sorry? Can we do the Spanish interpreter first? I, I did not catch that. You want us to do the Spanish interpreter first? Yes, yes, thank you. He's ready, Your Honor. Thank you so much. Please state your name, sir. Francisco Martinez. Francisco Martinez. Good afternoon, Mr. Martinez. You have been charged. You, you have been charged with no tail lights. That bond amount is preset at $500. And you have been also charged with driving with no license. And that bond amount is $1,000. Bien, tiene el cargo de que no tenía luces traseras y la fianza es de $500. Y también tiene el cargo de conducir sin licencia for a total bond amount of $1,500. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you?
do you plan to hire your own attorney or would you like for me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? No. No, 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 no. To clarify, Mr. Martinez, do you plan to hire your own attorney? Okay, uh, Mr. Martinez, can you repeat yourself for the interpreter? Oh, digo que se, se me se, digo, soy culpable de, pues, de manejar sin licencia, pues, y, y no este, y no, la luz apagada de la placa. No, I plead guilty for not having the tail light and driving without a license. Okay, Mr. Martinez, uh, this is not the proceeding where you would enter a plea. At this moment, the only information I need is whether or not you want me to um, assign you a court appointed attorney. Este no es el proceso donde se va a declarar culpable o no. Aquí nada más, aquí nada más necesito saber si quiere un abogado o no. Sí, está bien. Sí, está bien que un abogado. Yes, I do want an attorney. Do you have a job? Tiene trabajo? Sí. Yes. How much do you earn per month? ¿Cuánto gana al mes? Unos dos mil. Like two thousand. No. Do you pay rent or mortgage? Paga renta o hipoteca? Sí, pago renta. Sí, pago renta. I do pay rent. Okay, how much is your rent per month? ¿Cuánto paga de renta al mes? No, 550. Okay, you do qualify for a court appointed attorney. So I will appoint an attorney to represent you in your proceeding. Califica para un abogado asignado por la corte. Le voy a asignar a un abogado para, lo, para que lo represente en su proceso. Ajá, está bien. Do you believe that you'll be able to post the $1,500 bond? Sí. Okay, your next court date is scheduled for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. If you post bond, that court date will be waived. And then you will receive a new court okay. notice. You will receive a new court notice in the mail with your new court date. Do you have do you have any questions for me? Tiene alguna pregunta para mí? 
No, no está bien. Está bien, gracias. Ok, thank you, Mr. Martinez. Ok, deputy, we don't have any more um, Spanish speaking defendants that need an interpreter, correct? That's correct, Yon. Ok, thank you. Ok, thank you, Madam Interpreter. Have a great day. You too, thank you. Ok, um, so are you Antoine Walton? Okay, it looks like Mr. Walton, good afternoon. Uh, you're being represented uh, by Mr. Thomas Floriel. Good afternoon, counsel. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. Uh, let me grab Mr. Walton's paperwork here. Okay, Mr. Uh, Florio, uh, your client, Mr. Walton, is charged with, looks like divided highway uh, violation. That bond is preset at $500. Possession of marijuana, less than an ounce. That bond is preset at $1,500. Littering highway, that bond is preset at $500 obstructing an officer. That bond amount is $2,500. Failure to yield right away of an emergency vehicle. That bond amount is preset at $500. Failure to, failure to signal before turning and that bond amount is preset at $500. So the total bond amount I have calculated for all of the charges is $6,000. Uh, do you waive the reading of the warrantless affidavit or uh, Mr. Florio, do you want me to read it out loud for your client? Your Honor, we waive that, right? Okay. And did you want to uh, waive the preliminary hearing since all of these charges are misdemeanor charges? I do, Your Honor. I anticipate Mr. Walton will be able to make bond this evening. Okay, excellent. So, uh, what they'll do is deputies, if you can be sure to provide Mr. Walton with a waiver form. Um, and Mr. Uh, Walton, you need to complete that waiver form. So that way the deputies can get it back to me and I'll sign off on that. And uh, Mr. Florio, your client will receive his next court date in the mail. Um, do you have any questions for me? No, ma'am, your honor, thank you. Okay, thank you for your time, Mr. Florio, you are excused. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Have a good weekend, Judge. You too. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You ready for the, the females, Judge? I am, Deputy. Thank you. Deputies, if you could lower the camera just a little bit, I, I can't see who's standing in front of me. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. May I have your name? Christian Mallard. Okay, Ms. Ballard, um, you have been charged with battery. That bond amount is $5,000. And you've also been charged with criminal trespass. That bond amount is $2,000. Um, that's a total bond of $7,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I do. Um, I have listed special conditions of your bond. Uh, you are to stay away absolutely, directly, or indirectly by mail, email, uh, third person, uh, home, work, social media, family member from Quantravius Roberson. 
and you are not to return or go upon the premises located at 7003-AD Raleigh Court. Um, do you understand those conditions? Okay, um, it appears that it is a shared residence. Is that a residence where you both live? Yes. Okay, so what I will do is I have indicated also on this bond order that you may schedule an appointment with the Clayton County Sheriff's Department to go back to the residence only to pick up your personal items that are not in dispute. And you must do this and make this appointment within 10 days of being released. Do you understand that condition? Do you believe you'll be able to make bond? Yes, ma'am. Do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney or do you plan to hire your own attorney? I'm not sure. Are you employed? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm reviewing your application for a court appointed attorney. Um, so in the event that you would like someone to represent you, uh, you may qualify. How much do you earn per month? Um, I just started my job, so I'm not really sure. Okay, when did you start your job, ma'am? Um, in November. I'm sorry, say that again? November the 18th. Of 2020? Okay, um, so when you say you're not sure, can you give me an estimate of how much you bring home per week? Um, like 700. Okay, so you bring home about 700 per week, you said? Okay, would you say you make about $2,800 a month? So I bring home 700 and some from my check from work. Is that every week or every two weeks? Two weeks. Okay. So every two weeks you bring home about $700? All right, Ms. Ballard, I'm going to go ahead and approve you for a court-appointed attorney to represent you in your proceedings. Um, in the event you decide to hire your own lawyer, you certainly have a right to do so. You would just let the court appointed attorney know when they contact you. Um, with regards to being released on bond, you must not violate any laws while you're out on bond. Now, because you are only charged with misdemeanors, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date, which is February 23rd. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing date? I don't know what that means. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule you uh, for a preliminary hearing. Um, that date is going to be February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. It will take place in courtroom 201, um, but more than likely it may be by Zoom video conference is how you you may need to appear. Um, in the event that you post the bond that you believe you'll be able to post, that court date will be automatically waived and then you'll get a new court date in the mail. And someone from, um, from the uh, public defender's office will be reaching out to you, okay? Do you have any questions for me today, Ms. Ballard? You're welcome, you may be excused. I'll have uh, the next inmate. Good afternoon. May I have your name? Last name Benoit. Miss Benoit, you have been charged with obstructing an officer, and that bond amount is one thousand dollars. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? Yes. Do you believe you'll be able to uh, post bond? Do you plan to hire an attorney to represent you, represent yourself, or did you want me to consider you for a court-appointed attorney? I represent myself. Do you want to, uh, because this is a misdemeanor, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing. Did you want to waive your preliminary hearing court date? No, I won't waive it. 
You said no? I'm sorry, I didn't catch it. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? Yes or no? No, okay. So your preliminary hearing date is going to be February 23rd um, at 8.30 a.m. is um, scheduled for courtroom 201, uh, but it's likely that you will appear by Zoom video conference. Okay, did you have any questions for me? No. All right, well, thank you, Ms. Benoit, you are excused. Good afternoon, may I have your name? I'm sorry, if you could speak up for me, I, I did not hear you, may I have your name? Yeah, Colbert. Okay, Ms. Colbert, you have been charged with two counts of theft by shoplifting. The bond amount for each of those accounts uh, is $10,000 for a total bond of $20,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? Okay, and if you can speak up for me, it's hard for me to hear you through the mask and through the Zoom video conference. So be sure to talk a little louder so I can understand you, okay? You say you do understand your charges? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right, I have stated some special conditions for your bond. Um, you are not to return or go upon the premises located at 2034 Mount Zion Road in Morrow, Georgia. That's the Home Depot. And you are to stay away and not go upon the premises of uh, the Walmart that's located at 6065 Jonesboro Road in Morrow, Georgia. Do you understand those conditions, Ms. Colbert? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. While you are out on bond, you must not violate any laws. Uh, do you plan to hire your own attorney or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? No court All right, I have reviewed your application that you completed for a court appointed attorney and you do qualify. So I am signing the order, um, appointing an attorney to represent you. Uh, do you want, because this, oh, actually your next preliminary hearing date will be uh, March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Do you have any questions for me? Well, if I don't make bond, I got to stay here till March. Um, if you don't make bond, you need to talk to your attorney and your attorney should be able to work something out for you. Um, sometimes what attorneys do is they'll reach out to uh, the prosecutor and try to resolve your case or reach an agreement prior to that court date. Um, so in the event you don't make bond and an agreement can't be worked out, you will still have that preliminary hearing date of March 3rd, okay? Do you have any other questions, Ms. Colbert? Okay, well, thank you, you are excused. Good afternoon, may I have your name? May I have your name? Bicklin. Okay, Ms. Ficklin, um, you have been charged with theft by receiving stolen property. Uh, your bond is $5,000. Do you understand the charge that has been brought against you? Or do you think you'll be able to make bond? I'm not exactly sure. 
Do you plan to hire your own attorney or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? If you consider me for a court appointed Okay, I'm reviewing your application uh, for a court appointed attorney. Based on the information provided, I will grant this request and I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Um, your next preliminary hearing date is going to be scheduled for March 3rd, 2021. Your attorney should be reaching out to you. Um, and you should be receiving this court notice and this order um, in the mail. Do you have any questions for me? Permission to speak, Your Honor? Yes. I am a licensed State of Georgia employee, so I'm a professional counselor. So I'm just trying to make sure this doesn't affect my license. That's an answer that I don't know sitting here, but that is a great question and something to discuss with your attorney. So when your attorney reaches out, um, certainly explain circ the circumstances to your attorney and hopefully your attorney can work out something for you to help you save your license. Okay. Um, did you have anything else that you wanted to ask me? Is there any way that I can um, do a restraining order against the person that set this up? Again, that's a question for your attorney. Um, that I would not be able to address or handle here today. The only thing that I'm handling is issuing you a bond, explaining your charges to you, and assigning this court-appointed attorney to you. So again, make sure you discuss these things with your attorney so that way they can help prepare a defense and advise you. Okay, Ms. Ficklin, if there's nothing further, you are excused. You're welcome. Have a good day. Good afternoon, may I have your name? Kalia Gay. Kalia Gay. Okay, Ms. Gay, you have been charged with battery family violence. Your bond is set at $5,000. Do you understand the charge that has been brought against you? Okay, do you think you'll be able to make bond? Um, I do have some special conditions for your bond. You are to stay away. That means absolutely, directly, indirectly, by mail, email, any third person, any social media, any family members from Stephanie McDonald. Um, and you are not to return to the residence located at 7336 Camelot Court in Riverdale, Georgia. Um, do you understand those conditions? Uh, is that a shared residence? Okay, can you speak up just a little bit? Is that a shared residence? Yes. Okay, so what I will do as part of the special conditions is I will allow you to go uh, accompanied with the sheriff from the Clayton County Sheriff's Department to retrieve some of your personal items that are not in dispute. You must do this within 10 days of being released uh, from the jail. Do you understand that condition? Okay, and while you're out on bond, you must not violate any laws in Georgia. Uh, now, because you are only charged with a misdemeanor, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing. Um, do you wanna waive your preliminary hearing date? Okay, so I am going to schedule your preliminary hearing date for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. Uh, in courtroom 201, but it's likely that you will still appear by Zoom video conference. If for some reason you do make bond, that preliminary hearing date will be automatically waived and then you're gonna receive a new court date in the mail. Um, do you want to be considered for a court appointed attorney or do you plan to hire your own lawyer? Court appointed attorney. Okay. I 
I'm reviewing your application for a court appointed attorney. Um, how much is your monthly rent, ma'am? Well, when I was staying there, it was $400. You were paying $400, you said? Do you have any other source of income besides the income you listed for your employment? No. I'm going to grant your application for a court appointed attorney to represent you. So your lawyer should be reaching out to you um, in the next few days. Did you have any other questions for me? I can't hear you. Okay, speak up and tell me what your question is. I want to change the address on my application. You want to change the address on your application? Okay, so uh, what do you know what your new address will be? Okay, what is that address? 175 Ethan Court, Jonesboro, Georgia. 175. 8175. 8175. Ethan Court, Jonesboro, Georgia. Can you spell the street name for me? E-T-O-N Court. E-T-O-N? Yes. Okay. E-T-O-N Court, Jonesboro, Georgia. Okay. I have indicated that as your address on your application. So your court appointed attorney will be reaching out to you. Okay, if there's nothing further, you may be excused, Ms. Gay. Good afternoon, may I have your name? Alexa Lawrence. Ms. Lawrence, uh, you have been charged with um, the misdemeanor offense of giving a false name. Uh, that bond amount is $2,500. And you've also been charged with possession of marijuana, less than an ounce. Um, that bond amount is preset at $1,500. So your total bond amount is $4,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, do you believe you'll be able to post bond? I'm not sure, Your Honor. Okay, do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney or are you gonna hire your own attorney? Yes, ma'am, can, um, can you help me out, please? I can, give me one moment. Okay, I am reviewing your application for a court appointed attorney. Um, Ms. Lawrence, exactly how much do you earn per month? Well, I earn 1,000 to 3,000 every month, but if I sit in here too long, I might lose my job. Okay, um, do you pay any rent or mortgage? I pay, I live with my cousin, I pay rent at her house. Okay, how much do you pay per month? About $500. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and approve you uh, for a court appointed attorney. So I am signing off uh, on your application. Uh, do you want to waive your preliminary hearing or do you want to keep that court date? No, ma'am, I wanna keep that court date. Okay. So your court date is set for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, but it is likely that you will appear by Zoom video conference. Uh, do you have any questions for me, Ms. Lawrence? No, oh, ma'am. Okay, thank you, you are excused. Good afternoon, may I have your name? Hey, Louis. 
Ms. Lewis, you have been charged with one count of battery. That bond is $5,000. Do you understand the charge that has been brought against you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, do you think you'll be able to make bond? Yes, ma'am. I do have some special conditions for you with regards to this charge. Um, you are to stay away absolutely directly or indirectly by mail, email, phone, third person, home, work, social media, or family member um, from Timothy Bradford. And you are not to return to or go upon the premises located at 6711 Church Street, apartment 15E, in Riverdale, Georgia. Do you understand the condition of that bond? Uh, no, Your Honor, I just, I just after, after six months of being homeless, I just got that apartment in my name for my children to come back home. That's, I just moved in there the same day. It's, not, it's, my, it's my apartment that I, I, I got the lease with. That's, that accepted me. That's the only one that approved me. Okay, so uh, this is a shared residence with Mr. Bradford. No, it belongs. It is. It is my. Uh, that is my. That is my new apartment. Like literally twenty four hours ago, my new apartment. I, I'm the only one on the lease. I'm the only one on my car. I'm the only one on the. I, I'm not. I, I. I cannot share with him. It's not. It's not. It, I. I can't. Who is Mr. Bradford to you, ma'am? Uh, he's someone that I dated for about six months. Uh, do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney or do you plan on hiring a lawyer, lawyer to represent you in this proceeding? Um, I have a DFAX attorney. I don't know if that's the same thing, but I, I don't know. Um, I guess you can appoint me an attorney. Okay, I'm reviewing your application that you completed for a court appointed attorney. And you've stated that you do have a job. However, you did not list uh, what your income is. How much do you earn per month? Um, I get eighteen. I, I get eighteen hundred in Social Security a month from my husband's death, and then I make about seven hundred a week from that job that I have now. You said you earn about seven hundred dollars a week. Yes, I get paid every Monday from that job. Okay, you said your monthly rent or uh, mortgage is $1,100 a month? Yes, for that apartment I just got, yes. Yeah. And you stated that you have a car note of 600 a month, is that right? Um, it's listed here that you have four children. Um, are you under an order to pay child support? Um, you said no. No, I I was uh, the only order I was under to, was to get that apartment to to have my children have a home, and that's what I did. Okay. Um, well, Miss Lewis, at this time I'm not able to approve you for a court appointed attorney um, based on the information you have provided to this court. Um, so you will be responsible for seeking to retain your own attorney to represent you. I know you mentioned that you had a DFAX attorney um, or a, an attorney in another case that you may be a part of. So um, it may be a good idea to reach out to that attorney for any referrals or see what you can do about hiring somebody to represent you. 
Um, but what I will do is I will indicate on this bond order um, that you can go back to the premises. I understand what you're saying as far as, you know, is, is your apartment, is your lease. Um, but based on this battery charge and the facts that led to this charge, um, I'm not inclined to allow you to go back to reside. So you can go back to retrieve some of your personal belongings. That's not in dispute. Um, and you'll have, but you have to be accompanied by a sheriff and you'll have 10 days from when you're released to make that happen. Um, does it belong to? Does it, I'm sorry? So, so I can't have my own apartment anymore? It's, nobody stays there but me. I just moved in 24 hours ago. I literally moved in yesterday and, and signed the lease and everything. Nobody, Nobody's there with me except when my kids come back. Um, and I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, it looks like this alleged incident did occur at that residence. Um, and based on the fact, again, that it's a battery family violence charge, um, I'm not inclined to remove that condition at this time. Um, so what I do um, advise you to do is um, to talk to a lawyer about what you can do to have this condition modified or waived because if in fact you have proof or evidence that you know you all aren't jointly residing there anymore and it's solely your apartment, um, then that's something your attorney can raise uh, with the state and possibly petition the court to get this modified. But at this time, um, I will not modify that. Um, do you want to uh, keep your preliminary hearing date or do you wanna waive it? Because this is only a misdemeanor, so you can waive it if you want. I mean, if I have to get an attorney involved, I can't waive it, right? I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, getting an attorney involved, I can't waive it, right? Um, you waiving your preliminary hearing does not affect your right to have an attorney involved. One does not affect the other. Okay. Uh... So, so uh, if I, I keep the preliminary hearing, I can bring my the copy of my lease and everything to show who's, who's on the lease, or is that not going to matter? So if you bond out, because like I mentioned, your bond is $5,000, if you end up bonding out, that preliminary hearing date of February 23rd is going to be automatically waived anyway. Um, it does not, waiving your preliminary hearing date does not affect your ability to defend yourself um, in court. The only thing about waiving it is it makes your case move a lot faster and you may appear in court before February 23rd. Okay. So uh, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll waive it. I just want to prove my case. I don't know. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, um, we'll just err on the side of caution. I'm going to leave this preliminary hearing date uh, on for you. So it is scheduled for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. Uh, courtroom 201. And uh, like I mentioned, if you end up bonding out, that date is going to be waived anyway, and you're going to receive a new court date in the mail. Okay, do you have any questions for me, Ms. Lewis? Okay, well, thank you. You may be excused. Good afternoon. May I have your name, please? Patterson. You said Ms. Patterson? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ms. Patterson, uh, you have been charged with one count of pedestrian walk along a roadway. That bond is preset at $500. And you've been charged with three counts of obstructing an officer. That bond is $1,000 each. So your total bond amount is $3,500. Um, do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? Uh, do you believe you'll be able to make bond? Do you plan to hire your own attorney or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney?
Okay, I have reviewed your application and I am approving it. Um, so I will appoint an attorney to represent you in this matter. Uh, because you are only charged with misdemeanors, you do have the option of waiving your February 23rd preliminary hearing date. Um, do you want to waive that date? Okay. So it is set for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, um, but it's likely that you will appear by Zoom video conference. You have any questions for me? Ms. Patterson? For the property line, am I able to keep the house that I own? Uh, I have to keep somebody else's house. I'm sorry, say that again? For a property barn, can I use the own, my own house that I own? Or does it have to be somebody else's house? Um, that is something you need to talk to the bonding company about because they all have different guidelines. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, you do need to make sure um, that the available net equity in your home is three times this $3,500, okay? Mm -hmm. But talk to the property bonding company and they'll be able to um, let you know what their policy is. Okay, thank you. Okay? You're very welcome. Have a good day. Yeah. Good afternoon, may I have your name? Yeah, my name is Cumberland Cameron Rogers. Okay, thank you, Ms. Rogers. Um, you have been charged with simple assault. Uh, that bond amount is $3,000. Do you understand the charge that has been brought against you? Um, no, ma'am, it's not the same as they told me simple battery. I threw an egg. Is that the I'm same? Okay, so the charge is simple uh, assault, and I will, just so you understand the facts that led to this charge, I'll read it aloud for you. Um, it states that the, that on January 9th of 2021, the offender did commit the offense of simple assault by throwing eggs towards the victim, Clarence Rogers. The offender admitted to throwing the eggs at the victim's direction. The victim and the offender are married and live together, and this incident took place in Clayton County, Georgia. Um, those are the facts that led to this simple assault charge. Um, so as a result, I am, um, I am stating special conditions for this bond. Um, you are to stay away absolutely directly, indirectly by mail, email, phone, third person, homework, or any other family member from Mr. Clarence Rogers. Um, and it does indicate that this incident occurred at a shared residence. So right now I am um, requiring you to not return to that residence or to go to that premises, which is located at 1685 Flat Shoals Road. Now, because it is a shared residence, however, I will add on here that um, within 10 days of you being released, that you can make an appointment with the sheriff's office to be accompanied back to the residence to collect any personal belongings that are not in dispute between you and Mr. Rogers. Um, but it has to happen within 10 days. And while you are out on bond, you must not violate, violate any laws um, of this state. Do you understand those conditions, Ms. Rogers? Um, Your Honor, I'm married. That's where I live. I can never go back there again. Um, not until uh, this bond order is modified. Yes, so right now at this stage, um, I am not inclined to allow you to go back to that residence. Now, do you uh, believe you'll be able to make bond? Um, yes, ma'am, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, may I ask you one more question, ma'am? Hang on. Hold on. Let me um, hold that thought because I want to make sure that I have all the information I need from you, Ms. Rogers. Um, did you want me... I see you completed an application for a court-appointed counsel. Do you want me to uh, review this application and determine whether an attorney should be appointed to represent you? Um, I'm pretty sure I would need one, Your Honor. Okay, let me take a look at it here.
Okay. Um, I have reviewed your application and I am going to grant this application and I'm going to appoint an attorney to represent you. Um, so what you need to do is you need to discuss um, this matter with your attorney and your attorney will be able to advise you. Um, and again, your attorney can perhaps uh, work out maybe a consent bond to modify these conditions about you returning to the residence. Okay, but that's something you need to discuss with the attorney. I'm not gonna modify that right now. Do you want to waive your preliminary hearing date um, that is preset for February 23rd? No, Your Honor. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it set for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Um, but if you do end up making bond, um, as I stated earlier, that court date will be automatically waived and you will receive a new court date um, thereafter. Do you, yes. now you indicated earlier that you had a question. Uh, what, what question do you have for me? Um, when the officer came to my home, he asked me if I threw the egg in the direction when I was in the kitchen and I was actually washing my hair with the eggs. When my husband came up behind me. Ms. Rogers, hang on, hang on. Yes, um, um, the reason I'm stopping you is because you don't have your lawyer present here today. Yes, and remember, this is a public forum. We're, we're streaming live on YouTube. I don't want you to say anything that could possibly hurt your case. So you, you do have the right to not go into all the facts. There will be a time for that, but that time is not today. All right. I'm just here to let you know what your bond amount is, the conditions of your bond, and whether I can appoint you an attorney. And I've done that. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about those um, issues that I've mentioned? Um, no, Your Honor, but I would like to post bail. Okay. Well, I've, I've granted you a bond of $3,000. Um, so you can certainly make a phone call and see what can be worked out. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful week, Your Honor. Very welcome. Have a good one, Ms. Rogers. All right, Deputy, is that is that all of the female inmates? Okay. All right. Um, let me see. I'm going to take a quick break to check my email based on the information you just sent me. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so stand by, please. Thank you.
Okay, deputies, um, I am back and ready to proceed with our male inmates. Are you all ready? Yes, Your Honor. You want to start with Bailey? Yes, I'll have Mr. Bailey come forward. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Bailey. Okay, um, you were before me on yesterday, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so um, it looks like there were three additional charges added. Um, looks like there is no insurance charge added. That bond amount is preset at $1,000. Um, uh, driving on a suspended license charge um, of $1,500. And then there's an open container charge of $500. Um, so the total is uh, $3,000. Excuse me, the total bond is $3,000. Um, let me take a look at the file from yesterday. Do you think you'll be able to make bond on these uh, additional charges? Yes, ma'am, but they not, we can't use the bonds. Okay, well, that's, that's something beyond my control as far as what I'm in control of. I can only control what's going on um, in my courtroom today. Um, you'll have to talk with the deputies there at the, at the jail. Um, but I do want to, I'm just taking a look at the information you've provided me. Um, do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney on these charges as well, sir? No, no man. I said um, I was gonna have my uh, I was gonna have my own lawyer. Okay, that's what I was trying to confirm. So, okay, so yeah. you're gonna hire your own attorney to represent you. Um, these are um, misdemeanor charges, so you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date. That's the February 23rd, 21st date. Did you want to waive that date or do you want to keep it? It looks like you mentioned yesterday that you wanted to keep it. Um, do you want to keep that hearing date? If you end up bonding out, it's going to be waived anyway and you'll receive a new court date. Yes. Okay. So this will be scheduled um, on February 23rd, uh, 2021. So both of your charges, um, the one you came before me on on yesterday and the one um, that were added, the ones that were added that I mentioned to you today, they're gonna be heard on the same day or they'll be um, heard at the same time. So I've noted that you are hiring your own attorney to represent you. Um, did you have any other questions for me, sir? Uh, what's the uh, total amount of the, the total bond? Well, the total bond for these three additional charges is three thousand dollars. Oh, if I bond out, do I do? If I bond out on either one, um, will I be like released? Right? If I bond out on any uh any other uh, if I bonded out on additional charges. So the only charges that I can speak to are the ones that you came before me on on yesterday and today. Um, and you were granted um, a bond on those charges. So if you uh, make bond on those charges, then you can be released on those charges unless you have charges elsewhere or you have a hold elsewhere. That information I don't have before me. So I can only speak to these particular charges, okay? All right, um, if you don't have any other questions, Mr. Bailey, you are excused. Have a good one. When you get back there. Good afternoon, may I have your name? 
I'm Benjamin uh, Norman Bryant. How are you today? I'm doing well, Mr. Bryant. Thank you for asking. Um, okay, so it looks like you have been charged with two counts of violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act. Um, your total bond amount is $15,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? Uh, yes, ma'am, I do understand them. All right. Do you uh, believe you'll be able to make bond? I do. Do you plan to hire your own attorney, uh, Mr. Bryant, or do you want to be considered for a court appointed attorney? I mean, I, I, I think I consider that as a backup, but I do plan on having my own uh, legal. Did you complete an application for me to consider that for you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. I see it here. Okay, so you do not qualify um, based on your income. You do not qualify for a court appointed attorney. Um, but I see here that you've indicated that you've been calling around for some attorneys to represent you. So you will be responsible for hiring your, hiring your own attorney to represent you. Um, your preliminary hearing date for these charges is scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Okay, did you have any questions for me, Mr. Bryant? Um, not that I, I guess I need to get with a, a bail bondsman to figure out how to make bail. Okay. And you said, um, did you say you believe you'll be able to make bond or you do not? Um, does that mean pay, paying for the 10 to 12% using a company or you're saying pay for all of it up front? No, I'm just asking, regardless of whether you do a cash bond or a property bond or a commercial bond, um, you know, I, I'm just inquiring as to whether or not you'll be able to post bond, regardless of which avenue you decide to use. Yes, yes, ma'am. I do believe okay. it. Okay. So I just wanted to confirm that. All right. If there's nothing further, Mr. Bryant, you are excused. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. All right, my name is Kyrie Clark. Good afternoon, Mr. Clark. Okay, Mr. Clark, uh, you have been charged with one count of simple battery. That bond amount is $3,000. And you have been charged with cruelty to children in the second degree. Uh, that bond amount is $3,000. So your total bond is $6,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you, sir? I can't hear you. Okay, um, I do have a special condition that I, am, that I am adding to this bond order. Uh, you are to stay away from, that's absolutely, directly, indirectly, either by mail, email, phone, third person, social media, any family members, homework, et cetera, from Star Lewis and Leilani Watson. Um, and you are not to violate any laws while you are out on bond. Do you understand those conditions, sir? Uh, do you intend to hire your own lawyer to represent you or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Okay, I have reviewed the application that you completed for a court appointed attorney. I am going to grant an attorney to represent you in this matter. So your attorney will be reaching out to you. Um, your preliminary hearing date is scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 
in courtroom 201, it is likely that uh, you will still appear by video conference. All right. Okay, and um, did you say you were gonna be able to make bond? I can't recall if I asked you that. Do you believe you're gonna be able to post that $6,000 bond? Yes, okay. All right, so if there's nothing further, Mr. Clark, you may be excused. Good afternoon. Can you please state your name? Okay, Mr. Copeland, um, you have been charged with one count of burglary in the amount, or excuse me, your bond have been, has been set to $25,000. You also have one count of robbery, that bond amount is $10,000. And you have three counts of cruelty to children in the second degree. Each of those accounts is $2,500. So you have a total uh, bond amount of $42,500. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? You said yes or no. And commit no burglary or no robbery. Okay. Would you like for me to uh, read what was stated on the warrantless affidavit out loud? Uh, we are streaming live on YouTube, but do you want me to read it? I can't hear you. Yes. You said yes. yes. Okay. Yes, no. All right. It states that the defendant did on the ninth day of January 2021 in Clayton County, Georgia, at 5751 Riverdale Road, uh, did commit the following violations of Georgia law. The defendant did commit the offense of burglary in the first degree when he went without authority, entered the victim's, Gary L. Russell's residence without, excuse me, with intent to commit the offense of robbery by taking the victim's iPhone and placing the victim in fear of receiving immediate bodily injury. This incident occurred in Clayton County, Georgia at 5751 Riverdale Road, apartment 2A. The offender admitted to taking the victim's iPhone worth $1,000. The offender committed the offense of cruelty uh, to children because he committed the offense in front of three minor children. So that's what's listed on the warrantless affidavit. Um, and that's, those are the facts stated, uh, which brought about these charges. Do you believe that you'll be able to make bond? I didn't do none of that though. Okay. So Mr. Copeland, uh, you'll certainly have a time to dispute these charges. What we're doing here today is I'm just telling you these charges, discussing the bond with you, and then I'm going to ask you about a court appointed attorney, okay? So you're gonna be able to exercise your right to defend yourself, all right? Just not here today. So do you believe you will be able to make bond, Mr. Copeland? You said I, yes or no? I get a citizen bond, don't I? No, sir, your bond is $42,500. Do you believe you'll be able to make bond? Yes or no, Mr. Copeland? Nope. Okay. Um, there is a special condition of this bond. You are to stay away um, absolutely directly, indirectly, by email, uh, mail, phone, third person, homework, um, social media, or any other family member or third party or witness from Gary L. Russell and you are not to return to 5751 Riverdale Road, apartment 2A. 
Do you understand those conditions, Mr. Copeland? Um. And while you are out on bond, you are not to violate any laws of this state. Um, your preliminary hearing date is scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Uh, do you plan on hiring your own attorney or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? I'm sorry? I'm reviewing your application where you've indicated that uh, you do not have a job. Is that correct? Either yes or no, not no. 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 Okay, so no, you do not have a job. No. Okay, do you have any other source of income? Yes. Okay, how much do you earn per month? I don't know. You say you do not know? $1,000. Okay, $1,000 per month. All right, Mr. Copeland. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, appoint an attorney to represent you. Um, and you can talk to this attorney about um, your charges and the facts of your case. And that attorney can represent you. Do you have any questions for me, Mr. Copeland, about these charges or your bond? Okay, you are excused. Have a good day. Good afternoon, sir. Please state your name. Okay, Mr. Curry, you've been charged with criminal damage in the second degree. Your bond is $1,500. Do you understand the charge that has been brought against you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you believe you can post bond? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, do you plan on hiring your own attorney, uh, representing yourself, or do you want me to consider you for a court-appointed attorney? I'm hiring my own attorney, and um, your honor, um, my wife paid the guy for dam for damages that you say I did that I didn't do already. So. Okay, well, Mr. Uh, Curry, that's something that you can discuss with the attorney that you said you plan to hire. Um, and then perhaps that will resolve this case. I'm not sure. Uh, but that information you do need to share with your lawyer and perhaps your lawyer can work out something with the state. Um, so in the meanwhile, um, I do have a preliminary hearing date scheduled for you of February 23rd. Um, because this is a misdemeanor, you do have the option of waiving that court date just to move your case along a little faster. Do you want to waive that preliminary hearing date? Uh, no, ma'am. I don't want to waive it. Okay. So I'm going to keep it scheduled for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, but it's likely that the hearing will take place by Zoom video conference. Um, do understand that if you do post bond, uh, that court date will be waived automatically and you'll receive a new court date in the mail. Okay, Mr. Curry? All right. Thank you, sir. You may be excused. Good afternoon. May I have your name? Afternoon, Maurice Davis. All right, Mr. Davis, you've been um, charged with one count of a disorderly conduct. Um, that bond is preset at $1,500. Um, do you understand the charge that was brought against you? No. Okay. Uh, do you believe you can make bond? Um, I'm going to try, ma'am. Um, I had to call my bonds lady. I just, you know, just got paid a whole lot of money last week for another case. But um, I still, I think as long as I get in touch with her, I think. Okay. Um, like I said, your bond is uh, set at $1,500. So you can post using a cash bond or you can go through a bonding company. Um, do you plan to hire a lawyer to represent you in this case? Or did you want to be considered for a court appointed attorney? Um, could you consider me for a court appointed, please, ma'am? Yes, sir. Let me take a look at your application. You indicated that you don't have a job and you're disabled. Is that right? I got Marine Corps in 2001. I got hurt in the military, so I don't have a job right now. 
I guess it's good. Okay, well, thank you for your service, uh, Mr. Davis. Um, so it looks like you indicated that you just have um, a monthly income of seven ten per month. Is that right? No, it's probably like maybe fourteen hundred, fifteen hundred now. Because I'm only getting thirty two percent. I got appeal. Okay. Well, based on that information, I will go ahead and uh, appoint an attorney to represent you. So I am signing off on your application. Uh, because you're only charged with a misdemeanor, you do have the option of waiving the February 23rd preliminary hearing date. Did you want to waive that court date um, or did you want to keep the court date? If I waive the court date, would be faster? Yes, when you waive the preliminary hearing date, it, um, it usually moves your case along a lot faster and you should get back in court before February 23rd. Yes, ma'am. I will waive. You will waive it? Okay. Um, so you're going to be provided with a waiver form. Yes, ma'am. And just make sure that you um, sign off on the form. And we'll go ahead and get that court date waived. Okay, did you have any questions for me, Mr. Davis? Is there any way I could make a phone call to call my bonds later? Well, um, I'm, I'm in court. I'm not at the jail. So um, I don't control what happens at the jail. That's something you'll have to talk with the deputies about over there, okay? No. All right. So um, if there's nothing further, you may be excused, Mr. Davis. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Have a good day. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, may I have your name? First name Wade, last name Dennis Jr. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Mr. Um, Dennis. You have been charged with one count of battery. Um, I've set your bond at $3,000. Do you understand the charge that's been brought against you, sir? Okay, and if you could just speak a little louder so I can hear you. Um, I did list a special condition here for you. Um, you are to stay away from, that's directly and directly by mail, email, phone, third person, uh, home, work, immediate family members, social media, etc., from Preston Horton. And you must not violate any laws while you're out on bond. Do you understand those conditions? Okay. Do you believe you can make bond? Uh, I believe so, yes, ma'am. Okay, and do you plan on hiring an attorney to represent you or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Uh, court appointed, please. Uh, Your Honor, can I ask you a question? Hold on one second. Just hold that thought because when I get done, I'll ask if you have any questions and we can address it at that time. I'm, re I'm reviewing your application. Okay, Mr. Dennis, I will... Uh, grant your application for a court appointed attorney and have an attorney represent you. So you will receive that uh, information and in, in this court appointed attorney will reach out to you shortly. Um, because this is a misdemeanor, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date. And that's the February 23rd date. Um, keep in mind that if you make bond, that hearing date is going to be waived automatically anyway. Um, so do you want to exercise um, the option to waive that preliminary hearing date or do you want to keep that court date? Um, I'll keep that court date. Okay. So it is scheduled for February 23rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, but it's likely that it will uh, take place by video, Zoom video conference. Okay, so you mentioned that you had a question for me. What's your question, sir? Yes, if I can't pay the, um, the bail, can I get someone else to pay for me? Absolutely. Um, you know, you can certainly 
get anyone else to post that bond for you. Um, it just cannot be the alleged victim in this case. Okay. Uh, did you have any other questions? All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Dennis. You are excused. Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. May I have your name? Okay, Mr. Ducare, you have been charged with expired or no license. That bond has been preset at $500, uh, as well as possession of marijuana less than an ounce. That bond has been preset at $1,500. So your total bond amount today is $2,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you? Yes. Do you believe you can make bond? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you plan to hire your own lawyer to represent you or do you, you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Court appointed. Court appointed? Okay. Let me review your application. Okay, on your application, I wanna make sure I'm reading your handwriting correctly. Um, it looks like you stated you make 1,800 or 2,800 a month. I can't hear you, Mr. Duke, you're gonna to have to speak up. Speak up. How much? Okay, Mr. Duke, if you could just use your outside voice today. 1,800. 1,800. Okay. All right. So based on that information, I am going to uh, grant your request to have a court appointed attorney represent you. Because you're charged with all misdemeanors, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date. Do you want to waive that court date or do you want to keep it? Okay. So we're going to keep it. It's set for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. If you do make bond, that court date will be automatically waived and you will receive a new court notice in the mail. Okay, do you have any questions for me, Mr. Ducare? Thank you, sir, you may be excused. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon, sir, may I have your name? Michael Falcon. Okay, Mr. Falcon, um, you have been charged with improper lane change, too fast for conditions, uh, reckless driving, fleeing from a police officer, hit and run accident, um, and looks like there's a speed violation, violation of speed restrictions. Uh, I am not granting a bond today. I'm showing that there is an active uh, you're on active probation in Fulton County. Um, so I'm denying bond at this time. Uh, do you plan, do you understand the, the charges that have been brought against you, sir? Okay, speak a little louder for me, Mr. Falcon. Do you plan to hire an attorney to represent you or do you want me to con consider you for a court appointed attorney? I do have a question on the court appointed. If I do ask you to to consider me for court appointed and I choose to get my own attorney. My question is, do I have to do another court um, appearance for a transfer of attorneys or does that, does that happen uh, without me? No, us scheduling um, our calendars in court has nothing to do with your decision to hire um, a private attorney versus having a court appointed attorney. So one doesn't affect the other. Um, I am reviewing your application here. And I just want to confirm, you stated that you do have a job. How much do you earn per month? It's, it, it's about $200. Okay. All right, so um, based on your application and what you've represented to the court, I will approve you to have a court appointed attorney. 
Your preliminary hearing date, sir, is scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom uh, 201. Do you have any other questions, Mr. Falcon? Not at this time, Your Honor. Okay, you are excused, sir. Good afternoon, sir. May I have your name? Rio Gauss. You said Antonio Goss? Okay. Okay, Mr. Goss, you have been charged with uh, one count of theft by receiving stolen property. Um, that bond is $2,000. Uh, you've also been charged with uh, one count of battering family violence. Um, that bond amount is $5,000. You've also been charged with a count of simple battery family violence. That count is five, excuse me, that bond amount is $5,000. Um, and you, you've been charged with criminal trespass. Um, that bond amount is $3,000. So your total bond is $15,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you, sir? No. Okay. Do you believe you can make bond? No. You said yes? No. Okay. Um, I have included some special conditions to your bond, sir. You are to stay away from, that's directly, indirectly, by mail, email, phone, third person, home, work, or any immediate family members of any witnesses, including but not limited to uh, Miss Marissa Goss and Miranda Goss. Um, and you are not to return or go upon the premises located at 617 Rosewood Circle in Jonesboro, Georgia. Do you understand those conditions, sir? Um, is, is that a residence where you reside, Mr. Goss? No. You said yes? No. Okay. So uh, what I will do is I will allow you to go back to the property to retrieve your personal items that are not in dispute, um, but you have to be accompanied by a sheriff of the Clayton County Sheriff's Department. And uh, once you're released, you'll have 10 days from when you're released to schedule that appointment to go back. And when you are released, you are not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Do you understand those conditions, sir? Yeah. Because you are charged with all misdemeanors, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing. Uh, do you want to waive your preliminary hearing? No. Okay. So I'm gonna keep that preliminary hearing date. Um, and that date is February 23rd. Um, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, but it is likely that the hearing will take place by video conference. Now, if you do bond out, um, like you suspect you'll be able to do, that hearing date will be automatically waived and you'll get a new court date in the mail. Um, do you plan on hiring an attorney to represent you or did you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Court appointed. Okay, I've reviewed your application for a court appointed attorney. Uh, just to confirm, you do not have employment, do you? No. And you don't have any other source of income? No. Okay, so I have approved you. Um, so your court appointed attorney should be reaching out to you, Mr. Goss. Do you have any questions for me, sir? No. Okay, thank you, you may be excused. May I have your name? Good afternoon, my name is Shaheen Hardy. Good afternoon, Mr. Hardy. You have been charged with 
a one count of reckless conduct. That bond amount is $2,000. And you've been charged with possession of firearm uh, by a convicted felon. That amount is $10,000. So your total bond amount is $12,000. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you, Mr. Hardy? Um, do you think you'll be able to make bonds, sir? Yes, I do. Okay, do you plan to hire your own attorney or would you like for me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? I would like for you to consider me for a court appointed attorney at the time. Okay, I have reviewed your application, Mr. Hardy. I will grant your request and have a court appointed attorney to represent you. Uh, your preliminary hearing date is scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201, but it's likely it will take place by Zoom video conference. Um, do you have any questions for me, sir? My court date will remain the same if I bond out? Yes, because uh, one of your charges is a felony charge, we can't waive your preliminary hearing date. So even if you bond out, uh, your preliminary hearing date of March 3rd will, st will still take place. And my, not to cut you off, Your Honor, my preliminary hearing is just the basis of what, my, what I'm being charged with. And that's, that's pretty much preliminary. Your preliminary hearing is a probable cause hearing, okay? And then um, I did appoint you a court appointed attorney. So you can ask him or her more questions about what to expect and what may take place. Um, but for now, that is your court date, sir. All right, if there's nothing else, then you may be excused, Mr. Hardy. Hey, God, Tyler Harkness. Good afternoon, Mr. Harkness. Okay, Mr. Harkness, you have been charged with one count of theft by receiving stolen property. That bond is set at $5,000. Um, you have one charge of um, concealing a vehicle tag. That charge is pre, excuse me, is preset at $500. You also have a charge of driving with no license. That charge is preset. Uh, for a bond of $1,000. And you also have been charged with no proof of insurance. Uh, that has a preset bond of $1,000. So your total bond amount is $7,500. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you, Mr. Harkness? You said yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you believe you will be able to make bonds, sir? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay, do you plan to hire your own attorney to represent you or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Consider me for a, a court attorney. Okay, I'm, I'm reviewing your application, Mr. Harkness. You stated that you are employed. Uh, you didn't indicate a clear income. So how much do you make per month? I'm sorry, it's just like an under the table job. So it's like $20 a, a stop. We go state to state. It's like drops, like self-contract. And I'm like under the table. So it's like $20 a stop. So I'm not exactly sure. It's just like however many stops we have. Okay, well, when you get paid, um, every month, can you guesstimate for me how much you believe you make per month? Uh, I say three, 400, that's it, no, not that much. Okay, do you have any other source of income besides that? No, ma'am. No, ma okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and approve your application to have a, an attorney 
appointed to represent you, sir. And I have scheduled your uh, preliminary hearing date for March 3rd, 2021 in courtroom 201. Um, but it's likely that your hearing will take place by video conference. Okay. Do I have to download Zoom for that or something? Like, how do I do on, how do I come back and see you? If it's going to be a virtual. You'll be provided um, more details or notice with that in the event that it is by Zoom video conference. Um, more than likely it will be, but someone from the clerk's office will reach out to you. If you still have any questions about it and you can't figure it out, your court appointed attorney will definitely have that information. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Have a good day. May I have your name, please? Andrew Ingram. Okay, good afternoon, Mr. Ingram. Uh, you've been charged with one count of reckless conduct. Uh, your bond is $2,000. Do you understand what you've been charged with? No. Do you believe you'll be able to make bonds, sir? No. Um, do you want to hire your own attorney, represent yourself, or do you want to be considered for a court-appointed attorney? Considered for a court-appointed attorney. Okay, I'm reviewing the application you completed, Mr. Ingram, um, and you indicated you have one child under 18. Do you pay child support? And you stated your rent amount is $800. And do you have any um, anyone that can help you with the cost of your defense? Like um, yes, ma'am. Okay, well, based on the information, Mr. Ingram, um, that you've listed here, I am not going to approve you for a court appointed attorney um just based on your income so you will be responsible for seeking to hire an attorney to represent you uh, in the event you choose to have counsel represent you now because this is only a misdemeanor you certainly can have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date of march 23rd i'm sorry february 23rd do you want to waive that hearing date or you want to keep it? Okay. So I'm going to keep it scheduled for March 23rd. Um, in the event that you do bond out, however, that court date will be automatically waived and you'll receive a new notice in the mail. Do you have any questions for me, Mr. Ingram? I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. You may be excused. Good afternoon, sir. May I have your name, please? Speak up for me, sir. Cody Johnson. Okay, Mr. Johnson, um, you have been charged with four counts of armed robbery uh, four counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, two counts of entering automobile, one count of firearm discharge near highway, one count of theft by taking, and two counts of possession of firearm during the commission of a crime. Um, at this time, sir, I am not granting a bond. Do you plan to hire an attorney to represent you in this case, sir? My mom said she was. Okay. Um, do, 
in the event you don't get a private attorney, do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? I don't get Okay, based on your application that you have completed, I am granting your request to have an attorney appointed to represent you, sir. Uh, your preliminary hearing date is scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Do you have any questions for me, sir? Okay, thank you, Mr. Johnson. You may be excused. Good afternoon. May I have your name, please? Royce. Can you repeat that for me? Royce McLean. Thank you, Mr. McLean. Okay, Mr. McLean, you have been charged with one count of violation of the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, one count of possession of a weapon during a crime and one count of use or possession of a drug related object. Uh, I am not granting a bond at this time. I do see that there's an active probation. Um, looks like it's out of Cobb County. Uh, it's a five year probation where you were sentenced um, just last year on July 24th, 2020. So I'm not granting a bond at this time. Um, do you plan to hire a lawyer to represent you? Or do you want to be considered for a court appointed attorney? Oh, you can't uh, put me to a court appointed attorney. Hey, I didn't even like talking about Bart Simpson. <laughs> okay, um, it looks like here that you do have a job. Um, you didn't indicate how much you earn per month, you just stated it varies. So, how much do you earn per month, sir? Uh, well, I actually just quit my full time position because I started my own company. Uh, All right. State that again. I said I quit my full time job because I started my own company. Uh, I got my LLC and everything, but uh, so far revenue like five hundred, I feel like sixty dollars, and that's uh, like in a week's time. Okay. Do you um, have income from any other source besides the five hundred to six hundred dollars a month? No. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and appoint you an attorney to represent you, sir. Your um, preliminary hearing date, your preliminary hearing date, it will be scheduled for March 3rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom uh, 201, but it's likely that will take place by Zoom video conference. Okay, do you have any questions, Mr. McClain? Okay, thank, thank you, you're excused. Hey, y'all, I'm sorry for being a disruptive person. I don't mean to be a bad kid. I peed, on the, I peed at the airport on the concrete. Are, are you Craig Nelson? I got eye. It's in your eye. It's in your eye. They got a judge. They, got a, they want to talk to Yes, I'm Craig Nelson. Craig Maurice Nelson Jr. Okay, Mr. Nelson, you've been charged with criminal trespass um, as well as uh, urinating in public. Your total bond amount is $3,000. Uh, do you plan to hire an attorney to represent you, sir? Or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Um, sir, I mean, ma'am, what I would like is to get time served. So just leave me here or send me to prison, whatever time served is. I can't I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I don't have any money. I don't need a lawyer. Just give me time served. However long you want me to sit, I will do it. Mr. Nelson, I'm going to go ahead and appoint an attorney to represent you, sir, um, in this case. I'm also going to schedule your preliminary hearing for February 23rd um, at 8.30 a.m. Room there here? Wow. Okay, sir, you are excused. Thank you. 
All right, thank you. May I have your name, sir? Okay, give me one moment, Mr. Singleton. I'll lean against the wall. Okay, Mr. Singleton, um, you have been charged with one count of driving while license suspended. Uh, that bond is preset at $1,500. And you've also been charged with a stop sign violation. That bond is preset at $500. So your total bond amount today is $2,000. Do you understand the charge that's been brought against you, sir? I do. Uh, do you believe you can make bond? Yes. Do you plan to hire an attorney to represent you, represent yourself, or do you want to be considered for a court-appointed attorney? For a, point of, a court appointed attorney. Okay, you've stated on here that you earn $900 per month. Is that accurate? Yes. Do you have any other source of income, sir, besides that source? I'm going to approve you for a court appointed attorney. Because you are charged with all misdemeanors, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date. Uh, did you want to waive your preliminary hearing date? Yes, I do. Okay. So you will be provided with a waiver form. Deputies, if we can make sure that we get Mr. Singleton a waiver form. Yes, and Mr. Singleton, um, your court appointed attorney will be in touch. Um, did you have any questions for me today, sir? No, Your Honor. Okay, thank you. You are excused, sir. Good afternoon. May I have your name, please? Okay, Mr. Taylor, you have been charged with one count of giving a false name. Um, your bond is $2,500. Do you understand your charge, sir? Yeah. You said yes? Yes, ma'am, I understand. Okay, do you believe you can make bond? Um, if you think I can get a call, I ain't got no call here. I can't let nobody know if I do. Okay, do you um, plan to hire an attorney to represent you or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Court appointed attorney. It states um, on your application that you are unemployed, is that correct? And you don't have any other source of income, sir? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll have them. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, appoint someone to represent you, uh, Mr. Taylor. Because your charge um, today is a misdemeanor charge, you do have the option of waiving your preliminary hearing. Um, do you want to waive that preliminary hearing date or do you want to keep it? What does that mean? What, what does that mean? Um, so if you waive your preliminary hearing date, um, it just makes your case move along a lot faster. It doesn't affect your ability to post bond here today. It doesn't affect your ability to have an attorney represent you. Um, and it's not an admission of any sort of guilt or anything. Um, but if you do post bond though, it will be automatically waived. So do you want to keep that court date or do you want to go ahead and waive it? You want to keep it? Okay. So I'm going to schedule you for uh, February 23rd. 
at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom uh, 201. Do you have any questions for me, Mr. Taylor? Okay, well, thank you, sir. You have a good day. Good afternoon, may I have your name? Zachary Turner. Mr. Turner, uh, you have been charged with one count of possession of marijuana, less than an ounce, one count of uh, use or possession of a drug-related object, um, and no tag. Um, your total bond amount is $3,500. Do you understand the charges that have been brought against you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you believe you can make bond? Yes, ma'am. Um, I have family outside waiting for this. So. Okay. All right. So um, I am signing this bond order. Uh, do you plan to hire a lawyer to represent you, represent yourself, or do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney? Um, court court appointed. How much do you earn per month, sir? Uh, I did put down a uh, thousand, but that varies because I'm PRN at my, in my job, so that varies. Okay, um, so I do see where you put a thousand dollars. Besides that job, do you have any other source of income? No. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and approve you for a court-appointed attorney, sir. <laughs> Uh, so your attorney will reach out to you. Um, you do have all misdemeanors, so you can exercise the option of waiving your preliminary hearing date. Um, do you want to waive that court date or do you want to keep that court date? If I um, do bond, that automatically waives it? You are correct, sir. Then I guess I'll keep the court date. Okay. So I am going to set it for February 23rd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. It's likely it will take place by Zoom video conference. Uh, but as stated, if you do uh, bond out, it will be automatically waived and you will receive a new court data in mail, sir. Okay, thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Have a good day. Good afternoon. May I have your name? Okay, Mr. Ware. Uh, you have been charged with speeding. Uh, that bond is $500. Driving while unlicensed, that bond is preset at $1,000. And giving a false name. Uh, that bond is $2,500. So your total bond uh, between your charges is $4,000. Do you understand the charges against you, sir? Yes, ma'am. Uh, do you believe you can make bond, sir? I can, ma'am. Okay. Um, so I am going to sign off on this bond order. Ma'am. Yes. I'm sorry? Yes. Um, I've been having problems trying, trying to use the phone. So is there any way I can use the phone to call my people? Well, sir, that's not a question that I can answer because I'm here in the courthouse um, and I'm in control of what takes place at this courthouse, okay? I don't operate the jail or how, their policy with regards to the phone. So okay. you'll have to talk to the deputies there, sir, okay? Thank um, you. No problem. Um, hang on one second. Let me get some more information from you. Did you plan on hiring your own attorney, Mr. Ware, or do you want me to consider you for a court-appointed attorney? I need a court-appointed attorney. I really don't have it. Okay. It looks like you stated that you are unemployed. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Because you, 
you do not have any other source of income, sir? Yes, I'm a um, local tattoo artist. Okay, how much do you earn per month doing that? It varies. It might be 200, 300 a week. It, it, it really varies. You said 200 to 300 a week? Yes, ma'am. It varies. I might not get no business in a week, but no, it varies. Okay, um, I'm going to grant your request to have an attorney represent you, sir. So I am signing off on this order. Uh, do you want to, because you're charged with all misdemeanors, you do have the option of waiving your February 23rd preliminary hearing date. Do you want to waive that court date or do you want to keep it? Will I get an earlier court date if I waive that? Yes, sir. Um, it moves your case along a lot quicker if you waive that February 23rd date. Yes, ma'am. I want to waive. Okay. So you will be provided a waiver form, deputies, and we can make sure Mr. Ware gets a waiver form. Um, and Mr. Ware, you'll uh, need to just sign off on that waiver form. Um, and once we get that waiver form back, um, that date will be waived and you'll receive a new uh, court date in the mail, sir. Do you have any other questions for me? Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. You may be excused. Yes, you too. Uh -huh. This is the last one, Your Honor, when? Okay, thank you, Deputy. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Wynn. Um, okay, Mr. Wynn, you have been charged with uh, one count of theft of services. Um, you have a preset bond amount of $2,000. Uh, do you understand what you've been charged with, sir? Uh, yes uh, or no? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Um, and keep in mind, this is not the opportunity to try your case, okay? We are streaming live on YouTube. I want to um, advise you that anything you say can be held against you. So uh, with this bond amount of $2,000, do you believe you'll be able to post bond? No. Do you want me to consider you for a court appointed attorney, Mr. Wynn? Yes. Okay, based on your application that I'm reviewing, um, you do qualify for a court appointed attorney. So I am signing off on this application and your court appointed attorney will be in touch with you to talk to you um, about your options. But one thing I do want to state for you, Mr. Wynn, is that um, I am including a special condition to your bond. Um, you are not to return to or go upon the premises located at um, the TGI Friday's restaurant at 6000 North Terminal Parkway. Do you understand that condition, sir? Okay. Um, and you are not to violate any laws while you're out on bond. Um, because you are charged with a misdemeanor, you do have the option of waiving your February 23rd preliminary hearing date. Do you want to waive that preliminary hearing date um, and move your case along a lot faster, or do you want to keep it? I'm sorry? Yeah. I can't hear you, sir. Keep it. Okay. So I'll keep your court date on here for February 23rd at 8.30 a.m. in courtroom 201. Um, but it's likely that it will take place by Zoom video conference. And like I mentioned, your court appointed attorney, court appointed attorney will be in touch with you. Do you have any other questions, Mr. Wynn? Okay, thank you. You may be excused. Okay, so I believe we're done, deputies. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, excellent. Thank you all so much for um, your assistance today.